Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rentway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 30th, 2022. Well, my goodness, we are in a nasty, nasty whip sawing chop range here in the market with so many uncertainties out there that it is just making for some very, very challenging price action. And I've mentioned this before, and I think the possibility does um, exist that we could stay in this choppy, messy range all the way through to um, the beginning of earnings here in um, a little over a week before we start hitting on earnings. Yesterday we had some issues out there adding additional pressure to the market and it's a, something that I think we're going to have to get comfortable as a theme for this quarter. Um, Apple receiving a downgrade that pushed tech down pretty heavily and we also saw Tesla selling off strongly yesterday in the market, um, adding that additional pressure to the NASDAQ. And then we have these currency fluctuations, the Bank of England um, jumping back on the quantitative easing train um, with unlimited potential operations for the next couple of weeks, trying to stabilize their currency and pension plans that were starting to fail. And honestly, I think this action, um, I think we have a train wreck potentially coming um, over there in uh, Britain. Keep an eye out for that. And then um, we heard this morning that the Eurozone inflation hit a new record of 10%. And all of this is going on while we wait for our core PCE number, which is the Fed's, the FOMC's, favorite number to base inflation on. Yesterday we saw our GDP come in with another negative reading and jobless claims continuing to come in hotter than expected. Uh, that's creating additional pressure for the FOMC to continue to press that accelerator um, on the fight of inflation. So, oh my goodness, we have a lot going on here. Add in geopolitical concerns, currency fluctuations, bond yields that continue to remain stubbornly high, and we have lots of uncertainty in the market, and so it's kind of understandable we're in this messy, choppy range. Taking a look at the charts here this morning, if we look at our diamonds chart, you can see we are very, very, oversold in the short term, meaning that our T2122 indicator is scraping along the bottom of the ocean here. But unfortunately, I think there still is that possibility that we may be stuck in a wide ranging chop with all of the uncertainty that we um, are seeing in the market. If we were to find some reason for bullishness, then a retest of this high up here would be a nice, a nice thing to see. And if they could push on through that, what I would really like to see is I would like to see us move up into this area here in the chart. That would engage this downtrend a little bit and I would be looking then for the next opportunities to short this market because I just don't see um, a whole lot of reason to um, give those bulls inspiration to fight very hard. Now let's take a look. Um, if we um, jump over to our SPY really quickly, our SPY very much the same thing. Um, as you can see, pretty darn bearish here, continuing to move in this downtrend. My, um, my puts on the SPY, oh my goodness, paying very, very well. One of the things we've just been profiting um, uh, greatly in right way options because we're on the short side of the market. So if you guys are struggling in your trading and, and want want to um, understand how to do a little bit better on this. I'm going to have a video coming out um, uh, hopefully tomorrow uh, morning on um, 
shorting the market and why um, why this has been working so well and why the buy the dip buying um, operations have ended why a lot of retails of retail traders have just kind of given up now unless you're uh, um, a very experienced day trader there's certainly money to be made as a very experienced day trader but other than that stay on the bearish side of this market for now until it proves something other than this and, and what I mean by that is we have to break it down trend we have to hold a higher low and then show that they're actually willing to push through we continue to get these reports um, from the institutions oh buy this and buy that and you know nvidia was a was a, was a recent um boy you gotta buy nvidia it's got a hundred percent upside well, if the institutions actually believe that, don't you think there would be some buying in here? If they were actually picking this up, wouldn't we see that activity in here? Um, they've done the same with AMD. They're doing the same with Microsoft. Oh, buy it up. It's got great upside potential. Well, let's look for their actions here a little bit more rather than their words and see if they're actually participating in that buy to the upside before we start making some of those decisions. Let's take a, a quick look at our NASDAQ. NASDAQ very much the same, struggling heavily here yesterday with the downgrade in Apple. I think that's something we better get a little bit used to heading into our fourth quarter earnings season because I think we're going to get a lot more of those um, here in the, the near future as um, I think companies are going to be struggling pretty heavy to make those numbers work. If you've been seeing some of the inventory numbers, some of the sales numbers and things out there, they're not looking very good um, overall. So watch that downtrend here in the chart. If we can rally up and press that resistance level, that would be awesome. And if we could even move in higher than that, that would be fantastic. I would be looking for more short opportunities in this market. The good news here, I should, I should point this out, the good news here is although we made a new low on the year um, yesterday, we bounced back up and, and pretty much held on to the June low. So we're trying to hang in there on the NASDAQ. And if we take a look at the Russell on IWM, well, IWM also bounced. We pushed down here toward those lows, but bounced up there pretty nicely by the end of the day. Um, small caps are trying to hold in there a little bit stronger, trying to be a little bit more tenacious. So if there is a silver lining in this market, it's that. Um, unfortunately, I think earnings this season could be very challenging and could trigger some more selling um, here in the market. So be prepared for um, whipsaws. Um, these emotional moves that we've been seeing right now, very, very punishing because they're very large point moves. Um, be, be prepared for those. We can whip up hard um, early in the day and then whip right back down or vice versa. As we have seen here recently in this chop zone um, is a pretty punishing place to try and trade right now. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX, whoops. Our VIX pulled back yesterday after rising pretty sharply, but we really didn't fix anything here on that VIX. As you can see, there's a lot of uncertainty here in the market. The good news is, is we haven't broke above this level here. We certainly challenged it, and it's up here is where I think the computer algorithms will really change heavily to the, to the sell side. I think that's where we could actually get that selling capitulation to begin. But so far, we're holding down below that. So let's watch and see if we can pull this back and get some support down here along this um, um, support area and trend. Um, that would be a nice little relief um, to the selling if that could occur. We can't rule out that possibility because we're in a market chop zone that we just chop in a wide range here as well out toward that trend before we make that decision which way we want to move. Keep an eye on um, our, our T2122. If there's anything in here that get, is giving us hope of a potential relief rally, it's T2122. We um, completely reversed that big spike on Wednesday um, and uh, right back down here, scraping the bottom of the ocean here on T2122. So T2122 tells us on the daily chart that we have 
a big upside opportunity if we can find inspiration for those bulls to continue to move higher. So watch that close if we can get some of that energy to the upside. And we definitely need it to relieve some of the selling pressure and open up more opportunities for trades. If we take a look at our T2108, boy, T2108 reversed right back down here, um, unfortunately, um, so, but the good news here is it didn't take out the lows. Notice we pushed down here. We didn't take out the lows on that chart. So we're obviously still in an ugly downtrend. We've got lots of price resistance above for any rally to the upside, but keep an eye on that. It's, it's one of those things when we have only about 13% of our stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. Um, that's a very oversold condition and would suggest maybe some relief could be on the way if we can find it here in the market. And then if we take a look at T2107, T2107 very much the same where we pushed back down, hooked back over. But the good news here again is that we didn't take out any lows. So we held in there pretty strongly yesterday. Obviously still in a downtrend, obviously lots of price resistance above in the chart. So we need something in here to get the market um, inspired a little bit, get those bulls inspired. Um, and, and maybe we'll have it in that number this morning. We'll talk about that in just a second. But taking a look here, um, only about 17, 18% of the stocks holding above their 200 day. Pretty tough to make a bullish case there on that. And then if we take a look at our T2101, T2101 continued to hold that hook to the downside, showing that that bearish momentum maybe have may have broken here in the market because we held that low but we'll see if we can get some follow through to the upside today or not after we get this core inflation um, reading so what am i talking about well let's take a look at that economic calendar and see if um, this helps jog your memory today we have uh, personal incomes and outlays and this is the fed's favorite indicator um, uh, Jerome Powell talks about this one quite often and what he's looking for is he's looking for the core PCE number to decline. He needs to see that coming down and coming down pretty sharply. Unfortunately, if you take a look at our um, report here today, the consensus is suggesting that the core PCE goes up to 4.8. So if that number comes in hot, if this number comes in stronger than expected, then we might see those bears re-engage. If it comes in better than expected, then maybe we can get those bulls moving to the upside here for just a little bit, testing some of those resistance levels in the chart. So keep an eye on this number. Um, they're looking for personal income to creep up here um, just a little teeny tiny bit. So just watch that closely. We've been seeing those personal incomes decline. So um, yeah, just keep a close eye on this number today. Uh, coming out before the bell. So look for a lot of volatility around that number. After that point, we're going to smooth out here just a little bit. We're, we're going to get uh, you know a parade of Fed speakers here today. And we've got a Chicago PMI and a consumer sentiment number. Those are also very important to be paying attention to here at 9.45 and 10 a.m. Eastern today. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And unfortunately, guys, there just isn't much of anything. We have about six companies confirmed to report today. Most of those are very, very well, all but all but one really has any noteworthiness. And that would be um, Carnival Cruise will be reporting today. So keep an eye on that Carnival Cruise. And we've been seeing some of these cruise lines trying to move higher here recently. And I'm guessing it's the, the decline in energy prices doing that, but watch that one close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor as well, and that is to click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. I do truly appreciate it. And I do 
try to answer as many of those uh, if not all of them on those daily videos as I possibly can and I really really appreciate the kind support and the the effort that everyone takes to put those uh, comments on there that helps the channel to continue to grow and thank you so much for folks that are going through those comments and thumb uh, adding additional thumbs up to other people's comments that also helps it's the engagement with the video that helps the channel grow and we're just a few we're just a few subscribers away from 29,000 so thank you very much guys you humble me every day let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you need to do your own due diligence making sure that you understand the risk of every trade um, you know I see far too much wild speculation in this market and I know it's costing folks a lot of money because I work with a lot of people individually in their trading and there is a lot of pain going around the market right now because of that wild speculation. If you are losing money consistently in the market, I really want to suggest back off for a little bit. Get out of the market for a little bit, test your theories, test your discipline to make sure that you're following a good set of rules before you re-enter that market. I just hate seeing people lose money consistently um, and not make any course corrections in their trading. Let's take a look at a few of these charts and remember guys, these aren't recommendations and, and there's so much volatility in the market that anything is possible. If we take a look at UUP, this is going this has been really important here for the market the last couple of days. UUP, our dollar has been extremely strong. I, I mean crazy strong. If we look at a weekly on this, this is a, a parabolic move in the dollar. Unfortunately, a lot of the institutions believe the dollar still has more upside potential because our Fed is fighting inflation hard and we're seeing other countries not fight nearly as hard and that's raising the value of the US dollar. Now, keeping an eye on this, we had a couple of days a little pullback and you can see we're trying to push a little higher here in the pre-market on that dollar. So watch that closely. And as you're watching that, I would continue to keep close eyes on some of these ETFs like TLT. Now TLT is um, a treasury bond long and treasury bonds have just been pounded down, pounded down, pounded down. And this is an extreme low here on um, bonds and TLT has been showing a little bit of hints that it's trying to come up and you can see we're looking at a little bit of a gap up this morning. Now we have to be really careful with this because we are still underneath that downtrend. So remember we can rally right into that downtrend and continue to fail. So I'm not saying this is quite ready for prime time here. But I will say that I think um, we should be keeping an eye on this because at some point in time, the US dollar will break. It'll break and move lower and we'll likely see those bonds become a very hot commodity for a while as institutions and countries around the world will be picking them up for that security. So watch TLT closely. There may be some opportunities of course for the long side in this. Now at the same coin, UUP would, if that occurs, UUP would be the potential short. So if we were to break this trend, fail at a lower high, then watch for that possibility of a UUP short here um, in the market. Or you could pick up TBT to um, take advantage of that short. This is the inverse of TLT. So if this were to break this trend and fail a lower high, then TBT might be the place that you might look for um, that potential short trade. If we happen to get that dollar breaking and if we start to see those bonds 
uh, bond yields coming down and bond prices surging up. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at um, a few other places. You guys know I've been watching um, energy uh, pretty carefully and what we have seen here is pretty interesting. Even with a very strong dollar, we haven't seen energy sink like it should. Generally speaking, anytime you have a commodity um, a commodity value if the dollar gets stronger the commodity gets weaker because it takes fewer dollars to buy the same product but we haven't really been seeing a major fall here in energy and if you've been following the news around the world there's energy problems everywhere in the world as a matter of fact uh, not just in Europe but um, every place in the world we're seeing those declines in energy supplies so let's keep an eye on this if if that dollar pulls back if we start to see some weakness in the dollar i would expect xle to continue to rally and it may rally very hard if the dollar sinks sharply so watch that closely now for now this is not really in a great buy point as a matter of fact this is setting up whoops that my tools changed on me this is setting up as a potential short trade if we take a look across here quite a little price resistance we're moving in this downtrend rallying up into here looking for that potential failure so if the dollar stays um, if the dollar stays strong look for that possibility that this rolls over and those energy prices continue to come on down so keep a close eye on that um, other places that i've been a little bit surprised on is seeing um, some of the strength that we have seen in retail um, if we take a look at um, target target um, has held up pretty well when you consider how much the market has fallen Target is held up pretty well, but here we have that same complication that I showed you on energy. We, we created a lower high here and now we've pressed up into price resistance. So that problem that we have is that we could actually fail and continue to move down. And honestly, with, with the um, recession in play here, that would make some sense. But if that um, target can hold in here and bounce back above, that resistance area in the chart and hold, then I would be looking at some of those um, trades for an upside move. And we've seen some of these um, retail hold up pretty darn well. So keep a close eye on those. Other places, as you guys know, I've been kind of stocking and paying close attention to alternative energies. Um, um, FSLR continues to hold up here incredibly well. And I did see a report yesterday from some institutions suggesting that um, this still has upside potential. And I think that probability does exist in here. So we, we tried to get moving on Wednesday. We took it all back on Thursday, but we're not giving up this support in here just yet. So keep an eye on that. See if there is more upside in that chart. And you can look at other things like run run um, unfortunately has broken down now we've broken this support level in the chart so maybe this one's out of the mix here uh, for now but keep an eye on some of those alternatives and you guys know that i've watched plug power um, i have a very small position in plug power um, uh, thinking that it, it had a, a chance to maybe break out of here and obviously that is not working at all right now um, but I do think if we kind of wise up a little bit, we're going to realize that we can't immediately put everything onto an electric grid unless we start building some energy plants, um, which we seem to have no, um, uh, no willingness to do. We're going to have to start looking at other ways to power those vehicles. And um, hydrogen is, is one of those that works pretty well. Um, to do that and we can run all of those electric cars instead of a battery we just put in a hydrogen tank and we can run those cars and fill them up really quickly it doesn't take hours and hours to recharge so think about that maybe um, this will come around here eventually but watch that closely right now this looks short um, 
when we look at a lot of the tech stocks out there, you know, Apple being one of those right now, Apple breaking down here um, yesterday strongly, I would look for any rally back to challenge some of these resistance levels in the chart. And then we may have that opportunity here for um, the next short setup. So a rally back up into this area here look for that next opportunity to potentially short here on Apple. Tesla um, Tesla um, had a pretty rough day yesterday, but so far it hasn't really broken down through the support, but you can see we've got kind of a triple top high. We've got a lower high right here. Any breakdown below here would be an opportunity to maybe short those trades. Now you don't want to chase stocks down. You take a stock like AMD, AMD definitely looked short yesterday at that failure, but we also have to recognize if we pull this back, there may be some support coming in this chart here soon. So be careful not to chase something that's already running to the downside. Wait for that rally back for that next entry into the trade. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And more importantly, I want to wish you all a safe and wonderful weekend. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. And we'll see you right back here, right and early, Monday morning. Wish you all the best.